morning, everybody. It's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Poppet Reborn Nursery. How is everyone today? It's Wednesday morning here. It's a beautiful day outside. It is sunshiny. It is in the 50s. I'm going to go up even a little higher later on today. And it just looks beautiful. So springy out there. And so wonderful. Okay, BB has ignored me all morning. He has ignored me all morning. Um, and the minute I put on the, the video, he wants attention. He wants a drink. He wants to see the baby. <laughs> oh, well. Love baby to death. Anyways, I am joined today by my beautiful, beautiful Primrose Lane. Say hi to aunties, uncles, and cousins. She is gorgeous. Um, I'll talk about her in a minute. And this is the Ward Kit by Irina Kapalaskaya. Her artist is Chris Hyden from Tiny Heart Reborns Nursery. Um, I just love this little girl. She was a custom. I asked for her. And I'm going to do a little change here in a minute. But first, I'd like to ask you, if you like my videos, to please push the like button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, and we're growing, um, if you have, I want you to know I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm not just saying that. I truly love this community. I love the friendships I've developed. I love seeing your babies. The comments, the opinions, the suggestions are all appreciated that you take time out of your day to come in my home and visit with me a little bit. Uh, just warms my heart. If you haven't subscribed, I wonder if you would consider subscribing. Um, we do all sorts of fun things with these beautiful babies. We do box openings. We do details. We do changing and chats. We do reborn clothing hauls. And we just have a great time sharing our beloved hobby with each other. And I've made Especially over these last few months, I have developed some lasting friendships uh, that I so, so appreciate. Anyways, um, if you also would like to know when I make a new video, if you push the notification button, they'll let you know when I've made a new one. Um, so again, I'm here with little Primrose Lane. She's just a beautiful baby. I saw this kit, um, I saw this kit on a couple of other channels, and she was on my wish list. I go through McPherson's and Irresistibles and some of those places, and I put, I put down my wish list of babies that I eventually like to buy. And she was on my list because I just think she has the most cutest face, her little tongue, is pointing upwards she has beautiful eyes um and she's just i don't know she just has such a beautiful serene little look on her face uh typical curious baby once i saw her her or him on other channels i knew i had to have it so i contacted chris my go-to artist and I asked her if she would be interested in creating this little girl for me. I kind of went a different route. I got her to have like an auburn hair. And she has beautiful chocolate brown eyes. Look at that face. You love your aunties and uncles, don't you, sweetheart? So this is my little girl, Primrose Lane. A lot of my baby girls have a flower name or a reference to flowers like I have Posy Meadows and I have Poppy Summers and I have this beautiful little Primrose Lane. Uh, so I have a lot of beautiful babies and I love to name them pretty flowers. I don't know. I just love the springtime. Not good for the asthma. <laughs> But I do love the springtime when everything's starting to sprout and the weather's changing and the birds come back. I have a funny story before I start changing her. 
but I have a funny story. I was, I went outside and you've all seen BB, my Bengal cat. We don't let him out at all by himself. But since he was a kitten, I used to pick him up and carry him outside and let him look around. Well, it's a little harder now because he is a big, big boy, but I still do it. He goes, when he sees me putting my coat or my jacket on, he'll run to the back door, the kitchen back door to the hallway, and he'll put his paws up, like pick me up, carry me, take me out. Well, I had trash to take out the other day, so I decided I'll come back for him. And I uh, went outside and the birds were chirping and singing and they sounded like they were having a grand old time. And then the minute <laughs> I came back in, I said, all right, baby, let's go out. And he came running to me and put his arms up and I picked him up and took him out. All of a sudden you hear the birds rawr, 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 like, like they were warning each other. Uh oh, the cat's out. So make sure you're careful and don't get too close. Then we have another bird that taunts him. It's like a male cardinal. And him and his partner live somewhere around here. We live right by a national forest. So we have a lot of woodland animals and stuff. We've even seen fox run down our road. Um, not so much deers here because we're kind of, it's not a cul-de-sac, but it's kind of um, closed off from the, it's uh, intertwining sea, sea, uh, streets, I'm sorry. So like our street that I live on is like a candy cane. It curves and then it goes on to other big streets around there. So um, anyways, there's a cardinal that every time I take BB out, he flies really close to us and like taunts BB just out of his reach, but then enough to make BB really get excited. I can feel his little heart pounding in his chest. It is so funny. But the thing is, is I'm petrified of birds. <laughs> when I was younger, um, I'll start undressing her. When I was younger, I uh, lived on a farm with my parents and we had a dog. He was a terrier and he um, would take walks with me on the farm. We had quite a few acres, so it wasn't like um, it wasn't like I had to walk around blocks or anything. I just walked around our own property we had a barn and we had some sheep and ducks and, you know, some other things like that. And, uh, this little, um, this, uh, little puppy would bark at the birds and he'd bark at the squirrels and, you know, typical puppy behavior. And on one day when I was walking past the barn, a whole bunch of barn sparrows, swallows came out of the barn and started attacking the dog. His name was Benji and me. So ever since then, I've been petrified of birds. You know, when you go to the zoo, let's take your little bow off, darling. You know, when you go to the zoo and they have those aviaries where you can walk inside and I'm not making fun of anybody that likes those. I mean, they're beautiful to look at, but you will not catch me in those aviaries. Um, I'm, I'm petrified of birds. So this a uh, cardinal that decides to swoop at me scares me to death. Here she is. Look at this little chunk. She has a beautiful expressing, expressive open hand. She has her little fist. And she has chunky thighs. And adorable little feet. She's just beautiful. If you're looking for an uh, open-eyed, inquisitive baby, you might want to consider the ward kit. I've seen her as a boy, and I've seen her as a girl. Um, and I think she she looks beautiful as each. All right, I'm going to put on her these mint green socks. And I thought just for fun, since the weather's turning around, and it's going to be backwards because of my paw, uh, paw my first Pat St. Patrick's Day. I thought I'd do a little bit of the Irish St. Patrick's Day today. Um, so I'm going to put this onesie on her. It is a Carter's three months. I think it might be a little bit big. We'll see. I did wash it once. Um, so we're going to put that on her. And then it came with little gray uh, pants. They have a gray cuff. And they're gray and white striped. And on the bottom and the back, 
you have a smiling shamrock. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that today. And then we're going to do her hair and top it off with a bows. Uh, that bow I bought at um, Walmart. I couldn't get the word out. Walmart, there is a rainbow and some shamrocks and it says Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm sure they still have them. I bought a couple of packages because I have so many baby girls. But at Walmart, they have a package of holiday bows. There's birthday bows, Christmas, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Valentine's Day. So if you would like some for your baby girls, I know they were there the last time I went. All right, sweet girl. peek a Oh, there she is. There she is, little beautiful girl. Primrose is about 20 inches. Now she does, again, curve her legs, so she seems a little smaller than that, but I think the kit itself, okay, we're going to be careful with this hand. Let me open it like this. Um, about 20 inches, and this particular primrose weighs about four and a half pounds, and she is a cuddle bug. Um, she's just the perfect weight to melt in my arms. Sometimes in the evening, I'll sit down in my rocking chair and just hold her. I don't know. I'm sure you feel the same way about your babies. This isn't that big for her. I usually buy her newborn in some, um, in some, uh, what am I trying to say? I buy her newborn in some of the, uh, I've just lost the word. Some of the lines, there we go, clothing lines. And then the biggest I put on her up until today was zero to three months. But this really doesn't look that baggy on her. And it is a three months. Um, it was Carter's. I bought this at Burlington, I'm pretty sure. Let's put on your pretty mint green socks. These are some that I just bought the other day. Um, I showed you in my haul package of pastel socks. Uh, those were at Burlington, if you're interested. I thought it was a really good deal, too. All right. Look at you. I guess with the auburn hair and the brown eyes, the green really looks pretty on her. At least I think so. But you want to face your aunties and uncles more? They want to see your gorgeous face. They want to see your gorgeous face. These little pants crack me up. All right. Let's put these on her. Um, so anyways, back to the birds. Uh, last October, I went to see my grandchildren. They live in Florida. And they're young. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's almost my youngest granddaughter's birthday. She'll be two. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that was more her foot, but still, that sounded awful. She's almost two. She'll be two on Sunday. We went to the zoo. They have a beautiful zoo near where they live. Um, even when it's hot, there's a lot of trees and little fountains, so it's nice and cool. And when we went in October, of course, it's still pretty hot in Florida. But uh, we went through everything. My, my three-year-old granddaughter just loves to feed the giraffes. But we decided to go the opposite way. They also have a water park there, too. So the girls swam for a while. And then so we could see everything. My daughter-in-law says, well, why don't we save the giraffes to last? And we'll go and see everything. And it's just a lovely zoo. They have walkways around the top of the zoo where the animals, a lot of them, can just run freely. But then they end up in their own cages. So you'll be walking along and you'll look up and there's little monkeys running around up there. It's just really cute. My granddaughters love it. They love animals. And uh, they're, especially uh, Avonlea, she's three. She loves giraffes. So anyways, we got to the part where the bird, there was an aviary. And I was with, of course, her mommy and daddy, my son and daughter-in-law. And my other son, my youngest son, he's the one that traveled with me. Uh, he's an adult too, but he's my youngest. We, they all decided they were going to go in the Avery. 
and all of them knew I wasn't going to go. So I said, I tell you what, I'll watch the strollers and all the snacks and I'll watch everything and I will sit down and take a break so that I can do the rest of the zoo. So Avonlea could not understand that. She was like, let's go, Gram Grandma, let's go. And I was like, well, Grandma's going to watch everything. So they went in. And I, I had the best time just sitting there. And I'm glad they had fun. They, I guess they can feed them and everything. It was adorable. All right. See what we can do with this hair, baby girl. Let's set you up a little bit. So anyways, that was the story of birds. I'm not a bird fan. And apparently the birds know BB's number. They know when he's outside. And they're not happy about it at all. Okay. Look at this beautiful hair. It's so well-rooted. She has her little... Uh, swirl there and I really don't have to do much with it at all sometimes I can just do it with my hand um, and then like I said I'm gonna put this cute little bow on her and there he is mommy's little leprechaun all ready for St. Patrick's Day look at that face how could anybody be unhappy looking at this face yeah, maybe put your chin up a little bit. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. I just thought I'd pop in so that not too many days go by that I chat with my good friends. If you're at work, please come home to everyone that loves you safely. And if you're at home, I know you're super busy, but please take time to put your feet up, relax, pamper yourself, and eat chocolate. For those of my friends that are celebrating Lent, happy Ash Wednesday. And for those of you who are not, I just hope you have a beautiful day. Aunties, uncles, cousins, loved ones, and friends. Mwah. Mwah. We love you with all our heart. We think about you constantly, even when we're not on film. We're thinking about you and hoping you're having the best day ever. God bless you. And for now, we'll say see you later. Have a great day.